excited to move with you today during ground education. So today we're talking about biomimicry. How can we be like nature? And I'm so excited to show you some fun nature poses today. We are going to start just with a centering breath, just like we did last time. So let's begin by inhaling, breathing in and reaching our arms out wide to the sides and then up high. Bring your palms to touch. And as you breathe out, draw a line right down the center of you. Two more times. Ready? Inhale. Feel so big as you breathe in. And exhale. Feel that nice line right down the middle of you. Last time. Inhale. Reaching out wide. And exhale. Bringing your hands right to your heart. Wonderful. So the first pose that we're going to do today, how we can be like nature, is our mountain pose. This is a great pose for feeling long and strong, right? Tall like a mountain, stable like a mountain. And the first thing that we do when we're setting up mountain pose is we put our feet right down beneath our hips. If our feet are too wide, we get shorter and shorter and shorter. So if we have our feet right underneath our hips, we are our tallest self. We have our longest leg possible. So get those feet underneath your hips. And then once you have that nice long leg, we're gonna strengthen up the legs, activate the legs so the muscles feel strong and, and really stable. Then activate your belly too. Feel your belly draw in and your tailbone behind you reach down. This kind of helps us feel very long in our waist. Rotate your palms forward, reach your fingers down and feel how your heart lifts a little higher when you do that. Then the crown of your head, the very tip top of your head, I want you to reach it up toward the sky. You have just built your mountain pose. You are your tallest, most stable self, feeling long and strong. Take a couple of breaths in this mountain pose. Oh, that's great. Now we're ready to create tree pose. We're going to be like a tree. We're going to start by shifting our weight into the right foot and opening up that left knee. Now, the wonderful thing about trees are that they're rooted into the ground. Their roots go way deep under the earth. So if you feel more rooted with your left toes on the mat, if you feel more like a tree and rooted in, then keep those toes on the mat. If you can feel rooted and bring your left foot up to your right calf, that's great. Just squeeze everything toward the middle on both sides. If maybe you want to lift that foot up to your thigh, you certainly can. Again, squeezing both legs toward the center. Then we get to do the other wonderful thing about trees, which is spread our branches, right? And you can spread your branches out however you choose. Because if you look around in nature, there are no two trees alike. They're all different, right? Their limbs open up differently and the leaves are different. So you make your limbs however you want, right? They can reach out or up. One can be down. You can bring both hands to the center. However you want to create your tree is great. And if you find that you're sort of swaying a little bit, then you're even more like a tree because trees sway in the wind all the time, right? Now, when you're ready, we're going to step that left foot down. And if you're like me, you maybe feel some energy in the leg you were standing on. So give it a little shake before we go to the other side. All right, so we'll do the other side now. We're going to stand tall on our left leg this time. Open up that right knee to the side. If you feel more rooted like a tree with that toe on the ground, keep it there. If you can feel rooted with that foot on your calf or that foot up high into your thigh, then that's great. Just squeeze everything toward the middle, both sides squeezing toward the middle. That'll help you feel more rooted. Then when you're ready, let those limbs unfold however you choose. 
Maybe you want those arms to spread out a little wider this time or reach down or one hand to your heart and one hand reaching up high or to the side. You create whatever you want. How do you want to expand and open? Another breath here, feeling amazing like a tree, rooted into the earth, but also reaching up to the sky. Beautiful. Now let's step that right foot down and give that left leg a shake if it feels like it's got a little energy bundled up in there. Great. So now we've been like the mountain, we've been like a tree, and we are going to now shine bright and be warm like the sun. We're going to do our sun salutation. Now this is a moving activity and I'll show you how we're going to move first and then you can do it with me the following times. So here we go. I'll show you how it works. We're going to inhale, reach out wide to the sides, bring your hands up to the top, just like we've done before. But exhale, we're going to spread our wings out and fly forward. Bend your knees a little bit as you fold over. Now we're going to come up halfway. So put your hands on your legs and reach your heart forward. Let me turn sideways so you can see my back is very long, not round, but very long and flat. Exhale, fold, and then breathe in and stretch your arms out wide to the sides, palms touch. Exhale, draw that line down the center of you. So now you can do that whole thing with me. We'll do it several times so you have a chance to really catch on. Inhale, reaching out. Exhale, flying forward. Inhale, coming up halfway. Exhale, folding again. Inhale, reaching out and up. Palms touch. Exhale, hands down your center line. Again, inhale, reaching out. Exhale, shine like the sun. Inhale, come up halfway. Breathe out to fold again. Breathe in to reach out wide and then up high. Exhale, hands to heart. Again, inhale, reaching out. Are you getting warm like the sun? Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, reach out wide and up high. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, reaching out. Exhale, folding over. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, reach out wide and up high. Exhale, hands to heart. So wonderful. All right, so now let's do one more pose together. We'll mimic a lotus flower. So this is our lotus pose. And for that, you can find a seat in a chair or on the earth. We're gonna make a lotus with our legs and also with our hands. First, the legs, if you like. You can sit with your ankles crossed. If you're uh, comfortable lifting one of your feet up onto your thigh, this is called half lotus. If that makes your knee feel uncomfortable, then just set your foot back down. If you want to move into full lotus, that's bringing one foot up onto your thigh and then grabbing the other foot and bringing it up as well. So this is our full lotus. Again, this might make your knees feel kind of funny or your ankles feel kind of funny. And if that is not a good feeling for you, then you can just uncross and sit. Now for making the lotus with our hands. You can bring your hands to heart center like we've done lots of times before. And we're gonna leave our thumbs and our pinkies touching but blossom open our other fingers, right? So we create a little lotus flower right here at our heart. You can imagine that you can smell that flower, let it bloom open. Lotus flowers have so many petals that unfold. Take a couple of breaths here. and Just enjoy that beautiful lotus flower that you're holding. 
Wonderful, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me today with Ground Education. The light in me sees the light in you. Thank you.